Welcome back everyone, I'm Chef Boy RV, this is Chef Lucy, and if you're hungry, then watch and see what we're making. <laughs> Welcome back, Chef Lucy. <laughs> Thank you for having me again, and today we're gonna have an amazing recipe. Really, really fast and easy recipe. Is We're gonna make a, a garlic aioli, or mayo, like mm -hmm. mayo with flavor um, garlic, but you can also add any other flavor. We're just adding the garlic to, today. So a different spread for that for you can use. Yeah, and for the recipes, you know, like the leftover turkey, or like a sandwich, sandwich. or salad, mm -hmm. and also is, you know, better if you make your own mayo at home, <laughs> and you can just save it in your fridge for like about five weeks. Okay, oh. All okay. right, we're gonna start. Easy ingredients, we're gonna need egg, um, using over here olive oil, but you can also use any other type of oil. Okay. I'm just trying to make the olive oil mayo that we see, you know, on the supermarkets. We also have mustard over here, Dijon mustard. We have uh, vinegar, white wine vinegar, lemon to adjust the flavor at the end. Okay. And of course, superstar. we have the superstar, which is the <laughs> garlic. My favorite. <laughs> My favorite ingredients and everything okay. is garlic. So we're toasting over here some bread so we can try, uh, try it at the end. All right, so we're going to start with two eggs if you want to crack the eggs. I got it here. Mm -hmm. There you go. So we're going to have those in a blender. We're going to blend for like about 20 seconds. Just um, just to make sure that we yeah. um, kick start uh, the egg mixture so it doesn't cook with the rest of the ingredients, especially the vinegar. Mm -hmm. So there, like about 20 seconds. This blender is really fast, so we just have that uh, all mixed. And we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. Here we're gonna add like about three tablespoons of the vinegar. We're gonna add a tablespoon of the mustard over here. All right, having some flavor, salt and pepper, just to give it a little bit of flavor. And then we're gonna add the garlic to the recipe. Mm. And we're gonna blend again for like another 20 seconds. <laughs> All right, we run like about 20 seconds over here. Okay. And this is the trick to make the mayo. Okay. I hope you can hear me. But we're gonna add the olive oil or the oil. Woo. <laughs> a tablespoon at a time. Oh, I, can, I can see them. A tablespoon, or you can make you probably do it like in a smaller, like there you go. There. Like a slower. There you go. Yeah, we're gonna add a tablespoon of the oil, of the oil little by little so it can start emulsifying. And this okay. is really important that we don't add everything at the same time, okay? And then after that, if you see the consistency already changing, it's gonna thicken up a little bit, then we can add the rest of the oil, all right? We're gonna make sure that we're adding little by little so we can get the texture that we like for the recipe. Wow. See, really easy to make. It takes like about 20 seconds and another 20 seconds to add the oil and there we have something like this a thicker yeah so we're gonna add at the end a little bit of lemon and salt we're gonna we can adjust the seasoning here and have another running for another 20 seconds mm -hmm. all right so there it is, your mayo is ready. It doesn't take that long, and you can make like a big batch or a small batch. So after that, you have to like put it in your fridge for a You can put it in your fridge like for about right? 30 minutes. Okay, and then it's kind of ready to go? Uh -huh. okay. and that's got. I mean, you can keep it there for like about five weeks and use it for your... Um, like after it's done making, can you use it right away, or do you have to like make sure it's cold No, first? you can use it, but I mean, oh. if you want it to put in the fridge or the yeah. fridge, yeah. you can just do that as well. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and try this. This is just some bread in there so she can try it, but you can make like your little sandwiches for okay. your events, just a little bit of chicken and cheese and cut, them the, cut the ends and have some finger oh, snacks wow. there. Yeah. Wow. Something different, you can taste Whatever. the garlic, you can taste all the flavors in the mayo and something, you know, lighter instead of buying the mayo at home. This is a very easy mm. recipe. Mm. Chef's kiss. Very good. <laughs> if you'd like to learn more about this and get the ingredients, you can go to kymay.com or topmeals.com. We'll be right back.